हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल खतरे स्टेनो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल फॉर मोर डिक्टेशन बी रेडी फॉर द हाई स्पीड डिक्टेशन फ्रॉम अ पेरोजल ऑफ द इंस्पेक्शन रिपोर्ट डेटेड ट्वेल्व टू टू थाउजेंड फोर इट इज़ क्लियर दैट देर इज़ नो फाइंडिंग रिकॉर्डेड बाय द सब रजिस्ट्रार टू द इफेक्ट दैट द बिल्डिंग वॉज इन एग्जिस्टेंस प्रायर टू द डेट ऑफ द सेल डेड स्टॉक on the contrary the petitioner has taken a specific case before the authorities below that the construction was made after the sale deed was executed stop in support thereof the petitioner had submitted the plan of the architect prepared after the sale deed and also produced her bank passbook to show that withdrawal to the extent of about rupees 4 lakhs had been made by her after the sale deed had been executed which amount was utilized for the construction on the plot stop she also filed her affidavit as well as that of the contractor in support of her case that the constructions were made after the sale deed was executed stop stanza however the authorities below have relied on the report of the sub registrar and held that there was deficiency in payment of stamp duty without even recording any specific finding that the constructions were made prior to the execution of the sale deed stop it is not the case of the respondents that the land in question was undervalued stop an inspection was got done after 10 months of the execution of the sale deed stop it is also not the case of the respondents that the constructions found on the date of inspection could not have been made within the period which was after the execution of the sale deed and till the date of the inspection stop for imposing liability for payment of additional stamp duty it would be the duty of the respondents to categorically show that there was some concealment made by the petitioner at the time of execution of the sale deed stop on mere presumption that constructions existing after nearly a year must have been existing at the time of execution of the sale deed stamp duty cannot be imposed after valuing the constructions without giving a categorical and specific finding that at the time of execution of the sale deed such constructions had existed stop it is settled la that market value for the purpose of determining the stamp duty has to be determined with reference to the date on which the document is executed and not on the basis of any improvements made on it thereafter stop the sub registrar or the authorities concerned should have verified the same prior to registration of the sale deed or immediately thereafter but imposing liability for payment of additional stamp duty on the basis of a report submitted after nearly an year of the execution of the sale deed during which period admittedly any such constructions could have been made would not be justified stop as such the orders impugned in this writ petition are based on no sufficient evidence to show that there is any concealment of any material fact on the part of the petitioner or that the petitioner had purchased the plot with constructions stop stanza accordingly this writ petition stands allowed stop the order dated 1710205 passed by the additional collector and the order dated 226206 passed by the commissioner merit division merit are quashed stop in case if the petitioner has already deposited any amount in pursuance to the interim order passed by this court the same shall be refunded to her within a period of 2 months from the date of production of a certified copy of this order before the respondent number 2 stop in case if the amount is refunded within the said period the petitioner would not be entitled to any interest stop however in case of default in refunding the amount to the petitioner within the aforesaid period of 2 months the petitioner shall be entitled 
to interest at the rate of 12% per annum from the date of default till the date of actual payment stop stanza the case of the petitioner is that under the service rules the period of probation prescribed is 1 year and since no order was passed extending the period of probation and consequently he would be deemed to have been confirmed in december 2000 stop it is urged that the probation could be extended by a maximum period of 3 years which expired in december 2003 stop thereafter his services would be deemed to have been confirmed stop there was no justification in not confirming him in the year 2005 or in postponing the issue relating to confirmation on the ground that his services had not been found to be satisfactory stop it is urged that the same mistake was committed when the respondent refused to confirm the petitioner in october 2007 stop it is further submitted that at the relevant time there was no adverse entry in preceding 5 years stop the solitary adverse entry of the year 2001 to being an entry more than 5 years old could not be made basis for not confirming the petitioner and in denying promotion to him stop the warning issued by the registrar general by order dated 12/6/2007 also could not form basis for withholding confirmation or denying promotion to the petitioner in as much as a warning is neither an adverse entry nor a punishment under the service rules stop it is pointed out that a preliminary inquiry in another matter which also formed the basis for denying confirmation has culminated in favor of the petitioner and thus the same could not have been the basis for denying confirmation in service stop stanza the writ petition was opposed by learned counsel for the respondent by contending that under the service rules although a maximum period of probation as well as extended period of probation are prescribed yet there is no provision of deemed confirmation stop it is submitted that the appointing authority is enjoined with the duty to assess the suitability of a candidate and he is confirmed only if he is found fit and his integrity is certified stop it is urged that in the case of the petitioner his work and conduct was not found to be satisfactory stop it is submitted that in the year 2001 to there was an adverse entry against the petitioner followed by another adverse entry in the year 2004 5 which though was expunged later on stop it is submitted that in the year 2005 the case of the petitioner was considered for confirmation of his services but it was found to be unsatisfactory stop consequently the matter was deferred stop it is pointed out that in a departmental proceeding held against the petitioner he was found guilty of indiscipline and misbehavior with his supervisors oblique superiors stop however the respondent taking into consideration the unconditional apology submitted by the petitioner as well as the fact that it was first such instance took a lenient view and instead of awarding any severe punishment he was let off with a warning to be careful in future and be a disciplined employee stop stanza it is submitted that it amounts to a censor entry within the meaning of service rules and consequently the respondent was justified in denying confirmation to the petitioner in the year 2007 when his case was considered for confirmation along with other employees stop it is further submitted that under the service rules only a permanent employee in the cadre is to be considered for promotion stop in august 2007 when other employees were granted promotion since 31 8 2007 the petitioner was not a confirmed employee but was on probation stop he was therefore not within the zone of consideration for promotion 
to the post of review officer stop it is thus so to be suggested that the relief claimed by the petitioner seeking promotion since 31 8 2007 has no rational basis stop